Welcome. In front of me is an Alcatel One SE Lite and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So, before I get started with the bypass, I'm just going to quickly mention the state of this device. So as you can see, it is right now locked. It's telling me to draw the pattern to unlock it or use the Google account instead to unlock it. Now, with that being said, assuming we don't know either of those, obviously we wouldn't be able to finish up the setup. So with that being said, we're going to back up to the very first page. And here we will be changing the language to any other language that uses a different keyboard. Now in the guide, it specifies two different languages, I believe, that you can choose from. Uh, if I can find it, um, give me a moment. I'm trying to look for it, but okay. So it uh, you can choose a keyboard like uh, well, basically language uh, Chinese or Indonesian or whatever the language actually is. It basically says China or India. Uh, but if I am correct, we can choose basically anything from the very bottom all the way up to I believe it's gr no, not Greek. Yeah, Greek. So there we go possibly even Turkish. So just for this, I'm actually going to select Greek just to test it out. And the reason we want a different language than what we might actually want to use is because by selecting a language with a different kind of uh, letters in it, different keyboard, it forces the device to add a new keyboard into the setup. So right now we're going to progress through the setup by selecting basically the typical stuff, even though we don't know what we're really pressing on in terms of like what it says. Uh, it's still in the same place, so all we need to do is just keep clicking, clicking the same things that we would normally do. Now, um, once we are back in the verification page, we'll click on the use Google account instead. And then tap on a field. This will bring up our keyboard, which now, for some reason, it's still in English one. Uh, but we do have this globe icon now, which we didn't have before. So we're going to hold it. This will bring up additional language options, more keyboard options. And we want to select this text at the bottom. From here, we are going to be adding a new keyboard. So we're going to tap on this text right over here. We're going to tap on any kind of option that has an arrow. So I'm just going to select the first one and then press on whatever that is and then add, which is this button. It just closed on its own. So I'm going to re-attempt this. There we go. Uh, so once we have added our keyboard, which I think I actually added now more than one, in any case, we can now get out of here. We're going to go back to the first page and we're going to change the language back to our desired language, which for me is English. And again, we're going to progress through it forward. I believe I missed a step, but we will find out in a second if that is true or not. It looks like I didn't miss a step. So we're going to select to go back to language settings. And here we are now going to again select add keyboard. Just once more, we're looking for one with an arrow. Tap on the three dots, select help and feedback. And then in here, we're going to now search for uh, right in Morse code, but we do need to change our keyboard. So again, we're going to hold our globe icon and I'm going to select English. Um, so right, right in Morse code, select that. It will open up this article and here click on the video that is presented to you once. It won't start playing, which is okay. And here we want to click on these three dots. And we will select watch later, which isn't actually accessible to us for some reason. Not really what I wanted to do. Ah, there we go. I guess that will work as well. 
So as you've seen, I pressed on this uh, like three dots and uh, uh, went basically to YouTube or it attempted to open up YouTube, but it gives us a pop-up. Now, typically if you have the, um, the share and watch, um, watch later option, you want to select the watch later. Uh, if you had it like me, just follow what I did. And then we're gonna select Chrome and we're gonna select just once. I accept and continue and no thanks. And then in the search, come on, in the search bar, we will be typing hard reset.info slash bypass. Now, if you need a moment to write this link yourself, do pause the video. Let's give it a second for it to fully load. And once it did, we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on the settings. In here, we will now be navigating to security right over here. And we're going to be selecting screen pinning is barely visible at the bottom there we go we want to enable it enable lock device when unpinning and then choose screen lock so as you've seen before we had a pattern as a way of unlocking it so i will now change it up to something completely different like pin it tells me to put in the pin that i want to use so i'm going to select a very simple one one two three four next i'm going to confirm it by typing in the same one once more and now the new <coughs> pin is set. Now I'm not going to be adding any kind of fingerprint, so I'm going to select skip right here. And once that's added, I believe we should be able just to, let's see. Yep, just to reboot the device. That's what we're going to do. Hold the power button, restart, okay. And we're going to wait for the device to boot back up. Now, as you can see, we're now back uh, in our device, boot it up. So we're gonna unlock it. Now we are still in the setup screen, but because we already have a screen lock set, it's telling us to basically confirm it. So we're gonna put the pin that I have set, one, two, three, four. And this now takes us to the setup. From here, we're gonna just progress through the setup as we did before. And I think it already skipped a couple of steps. As you've seen, we didn't have the welcoming page where we get to select language. It's already starting off, I believe, after the connection to Wi-Fi, which right now, in a second, it's gonna tell us again that the device is locked and then we need to now uh, confirm the pin. Which you should see just in a second. There we go verify pin as you are aware at the very beginning it was telling us to verify pattern and after we have set up the screen pinning and chose our pin it changed to verify pin so again we're just going to put in one two three four enter and voila it should go further now I'm gonna mention one important thing before people start to click off of the video. Uh, we have right now uh, technically unlocked the device. As you can see, we can now just kind of skip this and finish up the setup. But there's one last thing that I recommend doing once you have access to your home screen, which is performing a factory reset of your device uh, that is done through settings. The reason I am recommending this is because when you perform such a reset, uh, this forces the device to remove any kind of protection from it, which will include the Google account and the pattern that was previously used on this device. Now, I am not exactly sure if it's still on here as a kind of like somewhere in the backlogs. So that's why I recommend doing this. So I'm going to show you once I actually finish up the setup where you can find the setting. So right now you can see that we have now gained access to our home screen, no problem. So last thing last is the reset. Now I will be honest, I'm not gonna be going uh, through the reset on the video just because it's fully automatic and it shows you absolutely nothing. But you can find the setting by going into the settings all the way down to system and then selecting, come on. Okay. 
after this crash. Hello, phone. Well, we just completely froze. Guess we're gonna give it a moment to figure out what it's doing. There we go. So we're still in the system. And we're gonna select advanced. And reset options. Erase all data, factory reset. Erase all data. Confirm your pin or whatever you have chosen to set up. And then click on the del delete all data to begin factory resetting your device. Now, like I mentioned, this is a recommended last step just to make sure that any kind of uh, leftovers from the previous account are removed. Uh, so that's why I recommend doing this. It's not necessarily a requirement, uh, but you don't have anything on the device just yet. And this will basically ensure that the device is fully unlocked and that you won't have any other problems later on. So there we go. That's basically what I recommend doing. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.